In this video, I will show you how to complete the peer review assignments that are required for each of our four formal essays in this course. You're going to begin by going to the navigational bar here to the left, and you will click on Peer Reviews. We're going to be redirected to Peer Reviews, and I have some information, just general information about peer reviews in this section. To get to the Google Shared Drive that I created for our course, where we will actually complete the peer reviews, you need to click on this link that says Peer Review Groups. I will be giving each of you access to this group once the semester officially. So you'll see in your own shared drive for Google our course once I give you access to it. So you can get to our class shared drive by clicking on the link that I just showed you, or you could just go straight to your own Google Drive through the university and go to shared drives. And the drives are listed over here to the left of the screen. You're, when you click on the link, you're gonna see something that looks like this. So this is our course, and there's a folder that's peer review groups. When you click on the link, it takes you directly to this folder. If you go separately from your own Google Shared Drive, you'll just see this um, first link and you'll have to click on the Peer Review Groups folder to get to where I'm at now. We're going to click on essay number one to open this folder and you'll see within this folder I have different groups that will be populated once class begins. So just as an example, I have group one and I have some names. Your name will be in one of these groups when we actually start the semester and have our per first peer review assignment. So for now, pretend you fall into this group. We'll click on group one. And you'll see your classmates' essays. For now, I just have one as an example in this folder. So we'll click on this folder to open the essay draft. Once the draft or once the essay opens, for this assignment, you just need to leave comments on your classmates' work based on the guidelines that I posted in the peer review section in La Oliva. For example, if you want to leave a comment, click by the place where you want to leave the comment. It's still loading. So I'm going to try that again click and it's loading very slowly maybe because I'm trying to make a video soon as this loads completely then I can show you how to leave a comment and I will have the essays in the folders for you you don't have to worry about putting your own essay into your group folder I will do that for you so again, all you have to do is actually get to the essay and then leave your comments. So now I think I can do this. I'm going to click, say I want to leave a comment right here. I'm going to come over here to the right corner and I'm going to click on comment, this little box. And I want a new comment. So I'm going to click comment. And inside I'm going to say remove the highlighting from the oops, text and then I'm going to hit comment if I'm happy with that. I can also cancel too. So hit comment and now you can see my comment is here. If I want to edit it I can go to these three dots to the side, edit, delete, or I can link this comment to something else. Really important when you read your own um, drafts, your, your classmates' comments, please don't delete them. Just leave them alone in the folder because I need to read your classmates' comments in order to give them credit for this assignment. I will leave my own comments on the assignment that you submit to me, so you can feel free to use that assignment as your final draft and delete those comments. And to delete a comment, you can click on this box 
mark as resolved and hide discussion. And now it's gone. If you have any questions at any time about how to access your classmates drafts for the peer review assignment or how to actually complete the peer review assignment, please let me know. This concludes this video. Thank you.